Hey, Giannis here, a content creator with Prezi. And this time around, I'd like to show you how to create flowcharts using Prezi Design. You can create process flowcharts, decision flowcharts, organizational charts, and many others. In this video, I'll show you how to add a flowchart to your project, how to style it and expand it, how to add some animations to it, as well as how to download it and share it with others. So let's get to it. In the Prezi Design Editor, select Add Element in the toolbar on the left. Choose Flowcharts to see the available options. To add one to your project, click on it or simply drag and drop it right onto the canvas. When you add a flowchart, it will appear as a group of individual items. If you want to edit the shapes separately, you can ungroup them over here on the right. After selecting a specific item on the canvas, you can adjust it in the settings panel on the right. For example, let's change its shape, adjust the color, and add some text. To resize the shape, hover over one of its corners or sides and click and drag your mouse. If you'd like to add individual shapes to expand your flowchart, select Add Shape in the left side toolbar and pick one. In addition to customizing individual elements, you can change the look of the entire flowchart by choosing a palette. Just go to the settings panel on the right and select the palette and branding thumbnail. Here, you'll find a list of palettes with preset colors and fonts. Selecting one will change the look of the whole project. If you're part of a Prezi team, your admin can create a brand kit that you'll be able to access from here. With one click, the content on the canvas will adjust to your brand colors and fonts, and so will all of the elements in the left side toolbar. Now everything you add to the canvas will be on brand. Here are a few styling tips. To copy the style of an item, right-click on it and select Copy Style. Then right-click on another item and select Paste Style. You can also customize multiple shapes in one go. Hold the Shift key and select several items, then adjust them in the Settings panel on the right. You can easily expand your flowchart by copying the content. Simply use Command C or Control C to copy something, then paste it with Command V or Control V. When moving the copied item into place, make use of the smart guides to align it properly. You can also tap the G key on your keyboard and use the grid to structure your flowchart. To connect shapes, select one, then hover over the connector point on one of its sides and click and drag your mouse to another shape. The connections can be adjusted in the right side settings panel. If your flowchart is getting too big and you need more space on the canvas, drag one of its sides to the right or left or move the bottom part up or down. You can also type in the preferred width and height in the settings panel on the right. As you work on the flowchart, you might want to zoom out for a wider look or zoom in on some details. To do so, hold Command or Control on the keyboard and use your mouse's scroll wheel. You can navigate the page by holding space and clicking and dragging your mouse on the canvas. If you'll be sharing your flowchart online, you can add some movement to the project by using animations. For example, let's place a shape on top of one of the flowchart steps and use it as a callout. To add an animation, first select the item on the canvas and choose Add Animation in the Settings panel. Then pick one of the animations. There are three types of animations to choose from. Entrance animations for how you want your objects to appear, exit animations for making objects disappear, and attention seekers to make something really stand out. Let's use an attention seeker for now. You can then add a few tweaks like changing the animation's duration and adding a delay, as well as select how the animation will play out.
To download your flowchart, click the download button in the top right corner. Then select one of the available options at the top, make the final adjustments in the settings panel on the right, and click download once you're ready. Remember that the interactive elements and animations will not work in static JPEG, PNG and PDF downloads. To share the flowchart online, select Share in the top right corner of the editor. You can keep the project private and share it with a private link, or make it public for everyone to access. Check the box here if you'd like to let others reuse and adjust the project for their own workflows. It's also possible to embed your flowchart. From the Share pop-up, copy the link of your project and go to its View page. Select the Embed option under your project and copy and paste the embed code on your website. The interactive elements will be visible wherever you embed your flowchart. And that's it! Head on over to Prezi.com to start creating your own unique visuals.